seriousness with God. The Bible said, draw near unto him. Isaiah 55 verse 6. He said, draw near to him and he will draw near to you. Heaven is putting you when you are running away. God is pursuing you when you are running after something else. Many of us are not serious. Many of us are not serious. Do you know that some of our brothers on the other side, they will stay on top of a mat for how many days? They church people. On seriousness, you want those certain riches of Christ. There are some things you have to let go for life. After you be a Christian inside the church, you are having boyfriend. You are not serious. I hope nobody in the want, I want I've already signed you up now. Let me give you the reminder. You need to understand the unsearchable riches of Christ are not for careless Christians. Hear me? If you don't get serious with God, Satan will seriously look for you. We need to be serious. Seriousness with God. If you serve the Lord with all of your mind, then we tell you God be sure. There's an analogy in my darling. He said, God has not changed. What he used to do is still doing it. It is because we are not serving him like we think we're supposed to serve him. And not men like Apostle and Babadola, men who will pray until angels will appear to them. Most of our members do not understand prophecy anymore. I hope you are hearing me. I hope you are hearing me. When last have you had God said to you, my son, don't leave house today. I want to talk to you. You have so much time for every appointment all around, but you don't have time for the things of God. And many of us come for two hours service and you want power. That is foolishness. Which business will you run for two hours every day, two hours every day, and it will prosper? Many of us use Bible from America that is given to you free. Let me boast it. That's my assignment. The church got to wake up. God is ready to do things that he has never done before. Do you know this in the Old Testament? That whenever the children of Israel were not serious with God, he sent them to the hands of God. Of the but once they begin to cry and they get serious, God rises to do things. I see God rising for you. Ah, I said, see God rising for you. Members in church, ah. you, you will become a replica of Jesus. Yes, sir. Your searchable riches of Christ is not for serious people. Number two, you need to understand that your searchable riches of Christ is not for prayerless Christians. The apostle said, We will give ourselves to prayer and the word. God's word has all you need, it has all that you need. But the word of God will not go until you pray to you. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. Pray with all prayer and all supplication in the spirit. Watching the other God with all perseverance. But before that verse 17, take with you the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray. The word of God is not a sword unto you until you turn into prayer. God's word becomes effective in your life when you pray. How many last have you prayed and you sweat? It's very good to pray in church. Oh, everybody is so excited. We can pray. When last have you locked up yourself inside the bush and pray yourself out? Listen to me. If you don't change your prayer level the way you are, you will not get fast to where God has for you. Your searching for riches of Christ. Paul said, I bow down my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family never and all this name after. He said, Among them, he called it and said, Pray in tongues more than you all. Hey, I don't think you understand. I pray in tongues more than you all. Those guys who are tongue prayers, who are tongue talkers, the Corinthians church, they went into essence. In fact, when they want to bless food, when it is time to bless food, they won't bless food. They just bust the two dogs. So they will speak in tongues, speak in tongues, and everybody will be waiting. Then Paul said, No, 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 no. You have gone too far. How will the man say amen to your blessing food? He won't even know where to eat. When they meet each other on the road, the Corinthian church, they don't greet them. <laughs> and 
this one is big, that one is big, this one is big, that one. You know, that was what you are doing. Paul said, Listen, if I'm in church, I will speak five words. <laughs> eh? He said, When I speak in tongues, I told them, say, All of you come back. I speak in tongues more than all of you. Can you imagine? This man will speak in tongues in the bathroom. He will speak in tongues in the market. He will speak in tongues when they meet each other. He will speak in tongues on the food table. And Paul said, I pray in tongues more than all of you. Mm. Well, have you gone? I, I watch some things in our days which you don't see anymore. I remember those days when we come to church and to fellowship, you pray on pray until you hear prophecy. In most Pentecostal churches now, you don't hear prophecy anymore. You know why? They are not connected. The connection is breaking. God will give exp explicit word of what you need to do. Read the book about them also carrying the father of full gospel businessmen fellowship. Do not have the experience in the village somewhere in Armenia of people gathering together and speaking in tongues. And God used a small boy to call him boy prophet. And God used the boy who was a little and he drew the map of the United States of America. And he said, Boy is coming so so years after many years, about 50 years later. And he said, When the boy will come, this is the land the people will go. He said, Land across the sea, and there we raise a man that we do a great work on the world. And the world came to the Armenian and white men of them all. But those who listen to this game, that was how his grandfather went to the US and migrated there and God raised him up. And he became one of the multi millionaires that supported Billy Graham and what about it. What am I trying to say? When last have you touched heaven? When last you are so carried away with the flesh? Number three, if you are going to search the searchable riches of Christ, you got to kill flesh. You got to get out of carnality into spirituality. Hello, I hope I'm speaking to you. Romans chapter eight he says to be carnally minded, we kill you. You can't afford to be too carnally minded. Listen to me. Many of you young women and you well young men, you want to marry the one that is preparing bed and his leg is straight. He can carry you to a straight trouble. Hello. Am I helping you? Get out of carnality into spirituality. The flesh will hinder you from getting into the flow of this supernatural of unnecessary riches of Christ. There is more in Jesus than you and I are experiencing today. Many of us are just feeding on the peanuts of heaven. Even one of our so-called great leaders, in spiritual matters, they are babies. Titus does not give you recognition in the realm of the spirit. Hello? Are you hearing me? Titus does not give you recognition in the realm of the spirit. Do you know that when Jesus was born, only two people knew in Israel? One was Anna, who was 85 years old, fasting and praying in the temple. The other one was just a man called Simon. Yet, the priest carried the baby, doing the dedication, they thought he was an ordinary child. No one bring your child, bring your child, here is the door. They just thought the door, well, God of Abraham, why is he going? And they thought he was an ordinary. Why do I bring that? Oh, you see, I can't die yet. I don't think. And some were walking. And he said, oh, this is the time. What you are praying for? He said, now my eyes have seen the salvation of Israel and of his people. May you not be disconnected. May you be perfectly connected. Listen to me, people of God. You cannot be Ghana and not expect witches and wizards not to be dancing around your house. We have too many deliverance cases in the church today. We don't used to have that in the seventies when we gave our life to Christ. We don't used to have that in the eighties. You know why? We don't have time for deliverance because the moment you give your life to Christ, you are too serious for devil to enter. You are too serious. Listen to me. You come to church those days and you are not born again. Why you are living this? You have the word of knowledge. Hey, brothers, committed fornication. Where are you? You will die if you don't confess. And you see people. <laughs> but this day we are taking carnality for frivolous life. We have so much taught sacred things. Some of our people in the denomination world, they are even understanding sacred things than many of us. We are too familiar with God. 
There is some familiarity. There is no more difference between the sacred and the and the unclean. We are not taking you. You want the unsearchable riches of Christ? You don't know what you are begging for. You are begging that your, your flesh should die and your spirit will take over. Hear me. Many of the cases that we run around for deliverance here and there, let me tell you, most of those cases, people have gone to from one place to the other, they are tired. You know why? The reason is because there are some things that you can't run up and down for. You yourself have to settle with God. Let me tell you what it is. Somebody came to me one time and said, Oh, there's a woman that came. She's a witch. I said, ah, A witch, let her stay. He says, I don't do me. I said, Let her stay. And then I said, The reason is because it's only when the school is cold. What kind of fly can be on it? She said, Even fly with seven heads, we still on it. I said, When it is hot, it's gone. Uh, the woman said, No, flies will not come. Every satanic fly from today, if they come around you, they will get a trophy test. 